What are we making here? Well, I'm making some beef stroganoff. Just getting ready to uh, cook up the meat here. Made a mixture of flour and put some pepper and salt in there and just kind of coat it on the meat. Oh my god. And this will put a nice kind of crust on the meat and also the flour will help to thicken the stroganoff later. Just want to throw it in. We'll do a batch about like that, set it aside and cook more. Okay, so it's not like well done, but it's cooked on the outside. It's probably about medium rare right now, which is funny. It's going to cook more when it simmers in the sauce. So I'm going to pull all this out, set it aside. I'm going to add just a little more oil here. Yeah, I usually add oil in between too. I have two for each one. Yeah. Doesn't take much. Nah. Pan's hot so it heats up real quick. And go around here. A little extra flour in there is going to give us a nice crust. Deglaze later. Okay, so we got all our meat browned, set aside here. We're going to be adding that later. I'm going to start with some uh, melted little butter here. I'm going to saute some onions and mushrooms. Again, these don't have to be totally cooked through because once you put it all together, it's going to cook in the sauce. So I want to get them started. So we'll do uh, about two tablespoons of butter. We're going to add some onions to that and get those going. Once they'll start up a bit, and then we'll throw in some mushrooms and kind of stir it all together. All that goodness sucking into that pan. And <laughs> butter and flour. <laughs> nice healthy stuff. <laughs> Remember, uh, this isn't the health food channel. Well, what, this what is, is the it? taste good channel. What's that old, there was an old, oh, butter. Yeah, butter lubricates our veins and arteries. That's right. <laughs> they used to advertise that, so it must be true. It has to be true. Okay. Let's throw some onions in there. I'll break them apart as I dump them in. Okay, my hands are clean. I wash my hands constantly as I'm cooking. Get those going until they uh, cook just a little bit, and then we'll throw our mushrooms in. Okay, so uh, we simmered the onions a little bit, or sauteed them with some butter here. They're getting just a little opaque color to them, kind of clear, translucent. I'm going to add some mushrooms. It's an eight ounce pack of mushrooms. You're going to see a lot of mushrooms on this channel because Scotty loves mushrooms, and so do I. But Scotty puts mushrooms with everything. It's his, it's his favorite fungus. <laughs> so we'll do that. Maybe add just a couple little thin slots of butter here. That melt down into there. Never go wrong with more butter. I'll throw a lid on here. I've got my Dutch, o Dutch oven over here preheating. I've got it just set on low just to warm it up so I don't have to transfer my food into a cold pan. It'll be up to temperature right away. And that's what I'm going to be cooking everything together in. Just about to where I want to be with these mushrooms here. I'm going to go just a couple more minutes. This is ready to come off the heat now. So I've been preheating my Dutch oven over here. And we're going to dump everything in there. Start with the meat here. Just 
Okay, put stir there. Pull out our mushrooms and onions. We got all that crusty stuff in there from the meat and onions and mushrooms. I'm going to deglaze out a little bit of red wine. Get this back off this burner for a second. Turn that up a little bit. Okay, so the pan's hot again. Splat a little red wine in there. I just want to kind of scrape all that stuff off of there. A lot of flavor there you'd be losing if you just threw it away. And the red wine gives just a nice little hint in the dish. You don't want to use too much. Just enough to clean that pan up. Not a lot, but it will add some flavor there. Ooh. Get this back on the heat over here. Turn it down, kind of between a medium and low setting. Can of beef broth. Add a little water to this. I just want to get it just to the top of our ingredients there. Oh, it looks good already. So what we're going to do is bring this up to a boil. And then just shut the heat back down and let it simmer for a while. You want to get it to a rolling boil. You want your water boiling or your liquid boiling when you add thickener to it. That's kind of what makes it react. You want to mix a little flour with some cold water like this and stir it up good so you don't get lumps in your lumps of flour in there. It won't hurt you, but it's just kind of when you take a bite of something and you got a chunk of flour. And this will make it nice and nice smooth gravy. Okay. That's boiling pretty good. I'm not gonna put it all in, about half and see where we get here. I'll just stir that up some while it's boiling. Remember, you cook that meat with seared it with flour on it. So some of that flour is going to help thicken too. That's looking pretty good there. Yeah. It's going to thicken up a little more as it cooks. Okay, so our noodles are about done boiling there. We let this stuff simmer. Uh, basically, right before you're ready to serve, add a little sour cream. I like sour cream, so I'll add a couple nice sized dollops there. A couple. Mm -hmm. And we'll just kind of stir that in. And I have been testing this as I've been cooking and add a little salt and pepper to it. You know, you just you need to do that. Salt and pepper to your liking. There's our stroganoff, folks. That's some nice looking stuff. That is comfort food. Comfort food for me, anyway. Okay, beef stroganoff's done. We're gonna give it a try here. Little noodles, meat. Mmm. Good stuff. Fantastic. Yeah, there's some beef stroganoff for you, folks. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.